near the tomb. Gotcha on tape. A GMA undercover investigation. Imagine spending thousands of dollars on a piece of jewelry, only to find out it's not what you paid for. Well, it's happening to a lot of people around the country. And consumer correspondent Elizabeth Leamy has, well, you're going to tell us what's going on here, aren't you? I sure am. We're yeah. talking specifically about ruby jewelry and a relatively new category of rubies sold as the real deal. You probably aren't aware of them. And as we found out, neither are some of the people selling them. We're on an undercover shopping mission at major department stores. Are these rubies too? Everything is ruby. Our partner as we shop, Antoinette Matlins, a professional gemologist. On our search for ruby jewelry, we're told time and time again that what we're buying are real rubies. These are real rubies. Yes. That's a real ruby, that's not But as you're about to find out, that's not really true. With gems, what you see with the eye alone does not begin to tell the full story. The finest natural rubies sell for more than the finest white diamonds. But we've learned some companies are selling rubies that aren't entirely natural. They're called composite rubies, a combination of ruby fused together with glass. To the naked eye, there's no difference, but under a microscope, a dramatic comparison. To the left, an all-natural ruby. To the right, a composite ruby. You can see it's filled with gas bubbles that form as the glass cools. Experts say composite rubies are fragile and that they're only worth a fraction of natural rubies. There is a huge addition of glass in this particular product. And while it looks beautiful, extreme care needs to be exercised when you wear them. We asked if the rubies we were buying needed special care. This doesn't need special care. Neither one. No. Just your regular cleaning. But actually, the wrong care and cleaning can ruin composite rubies. In this experiment, gemologist Craig Lynch shows us what happens to a composite ruby when it's exposed to the chemicals any jeweler would use to repair or reset a piece of jewelry. Two minutes in, the chemicals start to eat away the glass. If it was a regular ruby and just all ruby, nothing would happen. You could leave it in there for days. An hour and a half later, even more damage. It was much more degrading. Lemon juice or common household cleaners can also damage composite rubies. I thought I was buying, you know, high quality, you know, jewel. Ron Nelson says he had never heard of glass composite rubies when he bought some from a TV auction channel. They look like beautiful red rubies. These are real rubies. So what about the rubies we bought? We took them to the American Gemological Laboratories in New York. After microscopic and advanced analytical testing, Christopher Smith, president of the lab, tells us three of the four ruby rings are composites. We identified the presence of lead uh, within the glass, which is uh, conclusive proof of this material. The three rings in question were from three different Macy's stores. Macy's declined to go on camera but said in a statement, ruby gemstones sold in Macy's fine jewelry department are genuine. In general, rubies are heat treated to enhance their quality and appearance. Rubies also may be fracture filled with a glass-like substance during the heating process to improve the overall quality of the stone. But during our shopping trip, we were never told that. Is, is this one treated? No. no. There was a disclosure sign that said semi-precious stones may have been treated or enhanced by oiling, heating, or irradiation, accepted techniques that have been around for decades. That didn't apply to these rubies. There was not one word about glass composites. Each one has to be represented for what it is. Without this kind of disclosure, the consumer does not have any idea what they are buying. And no idea if they're getting a fair price, a practice that has some consumers seeing red. I bet. So I am wearing two ruby rings. Mm -hmm. One is natural, the other is composite. And I wonder, can you tell the difference? I'm going to take door number two. I think that's the real one. It looks richer. It just looks... Is it? All right. Well, you are. You're a good guesser. I know. It is a guess. <laughs> it's very hard to tell, and you really need to ask questions because of that. So it is. It, this is this is the natural uh -huh. one. This is the glass-filled okay. one. Here's what I think you should be asking okay. at the store. You need to ask: Are these rubies treated? If so, how? Do they have glass in them? 
Do they need special care? Mm -hmm. And most important of all, do you accept returns? And then you can go ahead and get that in writing, buy the ruby, take it immediately to get it appraised, and if it's not what you paid for, take it back. Take it back, and it's very hard for people to plunk down that kind of money these days on something like that. So, so if it's a make special sure. thing, you yeah, want to make special. sure it's the real deal. All right, Eli, thanks mm -hmm. so much. For more, you can go to our website. Over here, for more, you can go to our website at abcnews.com. Weigh in on our shout-out board.